are back at our modern lake house project and this time we're visiting the first wing of the home. We've got the master bedroom and bathroom, the office, and a guest loft. The home is surrounded by this beautiful foliage and you can see that through the large windows in every single room. In the master bedroom, it's big, but the layout is applicable to a lot of bedroom sizes, I think. You can see that we did, of course, the bed and the two nightstands, and at the foot of the bed, in a smaller space, we could have done a bench or two little stools, but we extended that and did an entire day bed at the foot of the bed, which is awesome for lounging. You wanna make sure that the rug is pulled forward enough so that the bench or the day bed that you have at the foot of your bed sits completely on top of the rug with a little bit of extra space. We like to switch things up between table lamps, task lamps, and sconces by beds. And here we did these articulating sconces that add to that modern look we were after. If we have the space, I always love to put a little reading nook in the corner of a bedroom. So we did that with this antique lounger, side table, and a lamp. I love how we played with warm and cold in this space. So we have these beautiful beams that span the length of the room and they have a nice natural warmth to them. And then we have this incredible slab marble fireplace, which is just out of this world. It's a solid slab that runs the span from floor to ceiling. And then we have mirrored that same effect in the master bathroom behind the tub. I love using natural marble in projects because every single slab is unique and we love working with our clients to find a slab that really speaks to them. Some of our clients love heavy veining that's really bold, others like more subtle veining. In here we picked one that had a lot of white space and then some gray tones and then also a warm kind of gold veining throughout. We have been wanting to use this floor for a while and when this project came about, we knew that this was the right place to use it. It's this really cool mosaic that has a modern pattern. The entire home is white and wood with hints of black. And here we incorporated black in the light fixtures. So we have this great fixture from McGee & Co over the tub and then we have these really cool sconces and then the hardware on the cabinetry. I love how the cabinets turned out in here. It took a lot of tries to get them right, but in the end they looked beautiful. So that wood stain, we wanted it to be warm but with a little gray and a little white. And we went through several rounds of testing and then um, I love the two-tone effect that the vanity has. We went moody in the office with a dark color on the walls, an interesting paneling detail, and then instead of just matching the built-in to the walls, we did a dark stain, which I love how that turned out. It has this really masculine look to it. And then, this room is very designer. Every single piece was very carefully selected and I love how it comes together in a minimal but interesting way. When you have these long stretches of wall space and you want a built-in, Yes, it's easy to just do bookshelves all the way across, but I think it's a really nice look to have two ends that are tall and then open it up in the middle for featuring artwork. In here, we used this piece by a local artist to Salt Lake, Holly Addy. Right outside of this dark and moody office, we went dark in the powder bathroom as well. Instead of a molding detail, we went with a black grass cloth, which is so cool. It adds this great texture to the walls. And then we designed a custom floating marble vanity with wall mount faucet. 
and then tied in the wood elements in the other parts of the home with the floating wood shelf below. And again, a marble mosaic in a really cool modern pattern. Now I'm gonna take you upstairs to the guest loft. This guest's bedroom might be one of my favorite rooms in the whole home. I think the windows, the colors, just the feel in this space is incredible. A lot of times the jumping off point is rug or artwork, but in here we found this sofa and loved it. It has a kind of interesting cool blue color and then we designed the room from there. So we have this great woven bed, an antique rug, lots of layers with interesting textiles. And in here we used side tables instead of nightstands because in a guest space you don't need as much storage. We also did a board and batten on the walls and I love that because of the other selections in the space, it feels fresh instead of farmhouse. I love little details like the orientation of the throw at the end of the bed. Usually you just drape it across, we turned it the other way and had it hang over the front and I love that, that just mixes it up a bit. haven't seen the first video in this project, go back and take a look. It's the great room and the kitchen, the entry and the dining room, and they are stunning. And then stay tuned, we have one more video from this home and don't forget to subscribe.